Hello, when it comes to perfectionism and audiobooks, there is a really bad alliance forged on those two uh, topics. When I was starting listening to audiobooks, um, I think seven years ago, on a consistent basis, I was doing that in the car because it helped me focus and it helped me stay awake because I was doing a lot of kilometers a lot of kilometers on a daily basis. I would say easily, easily 400 kilometers a day. Five, six, seven days a week. And audiobooks really caught my attention, including the driving. I was always on the Autobahn, so in Germany it's straight, straight, straight. You go pretty fast and uh, yeah, not that fast was my car. I had a smart diesel, so 120, I was really fast. So that is an important point when I say there's this kind of bad allegiance being forged by perfectionism in audiobooks. When I talk to people, what is the reason they do not listen to audiobooks when they are in the, uh, the car or maybe on other commute or whatever, the first and most often thought of reason why not to do so has been yeah, but I don't, I don't remember all the things people say on the audiobook, so I'm not getting the whole message. Let me tell you one thing. If you do not listen to an audiobook at all, you get no message at all. Pretty simple as this. So it will not get any worse. It will not get any worse if you do not listen to it. Because you already don't know what is the content. You, don't, you already do not listen to it. So if you just remember 5%, it's gonna be a gain for you. And that's, that's so crazy. And I think we all fall into the trap every once in a while that we say like, ah, I don't wanna start it now, it's just 15 minutes. Or no, I don't wanna start now because then I will not remember if I watch it again or listen to it in a week. I mean, there's so many excuses we can bring on this topic as well. And excuses seem to be like a topic today because they yeah, have been affected on the last days. But more importantly, getting out of it is the important part here. Getting the understanding, what are, what are you telling yourself? Listen to yourself what you're saying. And I mean, come on, an audiobook. That's not like, okay, I need to revise this and then later make a report on it. You just listen to it. And if you see something, hear something, where you say like, oh, whoa, 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 wait a second, wait a second, that was interesting. Then listen to it again. Make a note, but do it pretty quick. Don't do it in a week or two weeks because you just gotta accumulate more and more podcasts, audiobooks, snippets, whatever you need to, you need to look at. But if you can do it right away, or if you can do it on the next stop you have with your car, or whatever it's gonna be, make a quick uh, bookmark on it. All the apps gives the opportunities. There was one click, you can make a bookmark. And uh, if that already helps you, okay. But even if that's not the case, even if you just in and out, there will still be stuff stuck in your head afterwards. Maybe it's a phrase, maybe it's a wording, maybe it's a few words only, maybe it's one example, and you'll get a benefit out of it, come on. Give it a try. And a try, I mean like, listen to one audiobook as a whole and then ask yourself later what you remember. And everything you remember is better than nothing. Because nothing is, you don't listen to the audiobook. So you need to do some prep for that, to be able to do that. And that could be the moment you're sitting at the doctor, it could be the moment in your car, on your commute, if someone is late, if you are early, whatever it's gonna be. And be sure that you have your audiobooks downloaded already. There's almost nothing more frustrating from my experience than you are on a, on a run, you go jogging, or you go in the gym, you have your smartwatch with you, your Apple watch, whatever it's be, and uh, yeah, you realize that the audiobooks are on your phone. So have a few on your phone, have one, two on your Apple Watch. 
Maybe you even download it on your computer because depending where you are, you don't have the phone. Well, usually we have the phone with you, you know. But you get the point. Make sure they're accessible and make sure you have headphones with you. Maybe AirPods, Beats, whatever. So whenever you have an opportunity, you can swap it. And then put yourself reminders, location-based reminders, when you leave your house or whatever. Make shortcuts when it comes to Apple products, where it's automatically proposing you to start um, a podcast that proposes you to start an audiobook, whatever it's gonna be. By this, you can make sure that that there's a that you form a habit that when you go somewhere, when you're on your first commuting train, when you're on the S-Bahn, or whatever it's gonna be, that you are having something already on track. And um, that makes it so much easier to follow through. Because if you have to actively think about it every day, unless it's already a good formed habit, you might miss on it, and then probably you're gonna bash yourself. And say like, oh, yesterday I forgot, so that's another day, so whatever, whatever. And this is the worst thing which can happen to you. You start, you stop, because you can't. But to be honest, listen to an audiobook. That's something what we all can do, what we all are able to do, what we all can decide to do. And uh, for all of you who say like, oh, yeah, but Audible is so expensive, it's 10 francs a month, whatever. Use YouTube. And yes, if you can't download it, then yes, you have to skip the part which we said before. Because you just have to use um, the stream. Uh, because you probably have no YouTube premium if you don't want to have the audio Audible option. You can give it a try with a trial, that's another option you can do. But for the, for the start, take YouTube. There's so many audiobooks on YouTube already, which you can listen to, podcasts you can listen to, which I consider like some sort of audiobooks thing. And there's a lot of things you can learn out of this one as well. Like Timothy Ferris, Joe Rogan, um, Lex Friedman would be my, my names which come to my mind at this time. And from there you just move on, you just move forward. And uh, audiobooks, do not let them get in contact with perfectionism. That's gonna kill the experience, that's gonna kill the start from the get-go. That's it from my side to the topic. I hope you enjoyed this one, so leave a like. If you wanna hear more, subscribe to the channel. There will be more videos coming out right now. It's quite a lot, as you've seen it already, if you look on the dates of my other videos. Um, so far, so good. I will put some new videos on left and right, if you want to stay here. And uh, have an amazing day. Bye-bye.